Hey, folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? We have our cows all here lined up and waiting for some food. And we have the food here, so I'm just going to... Oh, no, hang on. Uh, how do I take the strap? I can't actually remember how to take... Oh, you press... Ah, oh, yes, of course you do. Um, right, so we'll take the straps off of the trailer, and then we can start um, unloading some of these bales. Now, we have the Seasons mod running, obviously, here in Gurali. Oh, is it Gurali or Gurale? Um, I'm not sure. I, I have been getting some conflicting sort of advice on this one. Um, I did say I was going to get a different grab, um, but I decided against it. I've brought that one back here. I've got the muck grab and the fork there. Um, so that one is ready. Now, what I'm... What I'm going to do is we've got to feed the cows and we need to put straw in for them. We can't put grass in yet and then we just put power food in and that deals with silage and hay at the same time. So we don't need to worry about actually putting silage and hay in separately. Um, the only thing we can't give them at the moment is the grass which is uh, base 20%. Um, so we're going to put this in. Now we're using Seasons Mod and I asked you last time how many days did you want me to run each season? This bale is not supported. Yes, we know that. Um, that's why I was going to get another grab, but I decided against it. Now, some people have said that if I was to close the grab, um, there's actually an option for closing the grab. Uh, it's not like that. It's not like that. <laughs> uh, if you press X, you can close the grab and it should close around the bales. It doesn't. What it does is it puts it into transport mode and it just pushes the bales off. So we can't actually use that option. Um, in order to feed, uh, well, we'll just leave that bale there for now. We're going to dump a single bale in here and we're going to put a bale of hay and a bale of straw. And then I think, oops, that is not the way to behave. That is not the way to do it. I think we can um, put a second bale of silage in there as well. And that will fit it right up. Well, we don't actually need to put straw into it at all. We could just put two silage and two hay in there. And that would be enough. You don't need any more than that. So let me just move this one bale of silage out of the way. Um, so, yeah, I asked you how long a day did you want me to use? Uh, how long a season did you want me to use? Because you can use three, six, nine or twelve days on each season. And... I'll just quickly read out from the list here. So, um, we had a total of 3,764 people answer that question. Which, considering that um, I only had two videos last week on this map, uh, is an absolutely phenomenal number of responses. So, thank you to everybody that responded on that. It's absolutely fantastic. I'm absolutely delighted with that. It was brilliant. Um, let me just bring these in here a minute and lower down now. The problem with this grab is I'm not entirely sure how we're supposed to use it properly. Uh, unload bales here is Z. Press that. Now, is that going to allow me to put straw in? Someone did say that there's an issue with straw on this map. Something, something about the straw not working properly. And I'm not quite sure what that issue is. Um, and the problem with this grab is that it's not going to make it very easy to um, push anything in either. Do you have to lean it over the top? We might actually need to get another grab just to be able to put the straw in properly. So we'll leave those two bales there for a minute. Um, we, I suppose we could always try getting a bale and putting it in the other feed trough. But yeah, I did get a comment somewhere saying that the straw doesn't work very well for the cows. There's some sort of issue. But I, I'm not quite sure what it is yet. Um, so we will get a different grab to experiment with that a little bit. Here is our feed place this side, so we can try putting it in here. Press Z again to unload. Right, that doesn't seem to do anything at all. If I lift it up like that, will it allow us to just pick up one? I think I need to come back a bit further than that. I just want to pick one up. I don't want to have to go through all the hassle. Oh, no, it's going to make us pick up two each time, isn't it? Right, okay, we won't put them in there. We'll, we'll leave them so that they can go inside the shed. It might be that we got to get the straw blower in order to make it work. We could use the mixer. Um, I don't want to use two of these. I want to use just one of these. And then a, um, a bale of hay as well. If I use 
one bale of straw, one bale of hay. We're going to need a different grab, so we're going to have to drive over to the um, the shop to get another grab. I should have done that before I started this episode. I did bring the vitamin back, and as someone pointed out in the comment section, I thought that was really funny. Um, yeah, don't forget they said, "Oh, your um, your your vitamin is at the um, at the dealership." Don't forget to take your vitamins. Yeah, very good, very good. I, d I did actually appreciate it. That's a brilliant comment that was. Um, but anyway, um, back to the numbers. I will quickly run through them and then I can get this grab. Uh, we had uh, for three days for each season, 415 people. For six days was 928 people. For which way am I supposed to go? Oh, down this way. Um, for nine days was 367 and for 12 days was 2054. So it's absolutely certain that people want me to use 12 days per season, but it has been pointed out, and I should have it on um, five times speed. I'm keeping it on one time speed at the moment until we've got the food in for the cows, and then I will speed it up again. Um, I am going to be playing around with time a bit more on this map than I would um, normally, because we're going to need to be moving forwards to get to the different parts of it. We will try and play it on 12 days. I asked a question before I fully understood what the Seasons mod was about, and if I'd known when I asked a question what I know now, I wouldn't have given you all four options, I would have just said three days or six days. Um, I think 12 days is going to be difficult, it's certainly going to be difficult to keep things interesting, uh, so what I'm going to do is I will play it on 12 days, but when we've run out of tasks I will shorten it down to three days. Um, in the hope that that will make a difference to sort of speeding things up. I'll either do that or I will just have to fast forward um, a large number of days. The only problem with fast forwarding a large number of days is um, the food that you need for your animals. You can only put three days worth of food in, which means that we're going to be forever topping our animals back up with food, which is, um, needless to say, it's going to be a little bit... Um, not only time consuming, it's also going to be a bit dull for everybody to watch. So it's something that we're going to have to work on. A wrapped bale handler. Um, I don't know if I should get that one. Or if I should just go... I'll go with a bale spike at the moment. Um, we'll just go with that one. That one right there with the telehandler. We'll buy that. Yes. Okay, and back. Right, I will get back over to the farm. And we can get these cows fed, and then once we've done that, we need to start looking at getting some crops in the ground. Right, I have put a bale in, and it's just that you can't put it in at the front. What you've got to do is you've got to lift it over the barrier um, and actually put it in for the cow. So we can just lift it over the barrier here, tip it in, and as soon as you release the bale, you should... There we go. Right, so we now have some straw in for the cows. There's two bales worth there, and we've got 100 cows, and that has put us... Actually, it's almost full. Um, something else that's really interesting about this season's mod is that in uh, autumn and winter... And, ooh, okay, I really didn't mean to do that. I hope that they don't actually take damage. If they take damage, then we're going to be in a spot of trouble. If they don't take damage, um, we should be okay. I know that tractors and vehicles and that need maintenance after a while, but I don't know if they actually take damage from hitting things. Um, so, yes, we've got straw in there. You can only put three days' worth in, and in winter and autumn and so on, um, the cows and the pigs, they actually produce more manure and slurry in that than they do in the spring and summer, because in real life, they would... Um, obviously, they'd be undercover more, um, so they would be literally producing more stuff. So... It's very, very realistic in that way. Uh, hired help. Oh, no. Oh, okay. Badly done. Hired help. That's another one that responds well to the Seasons mod. Um, it costs... It's the regular price during the day, but at night time, um, so after 6pm and before 6am, uh, you've got to pay 150% on your um, hired costs compared to... Uh, just a standard 100% during the day. So you actually have to pay an overtime rate if you're using your hired help during the night. That was quite the bump down there. Um, now, we should, we've got 33% exactly of each. And I think this one takes 8,000 litres, uh, 16. So we should have enough room for one more. And at the moment we've got too much straw, so we could put in either another silage or another hay. Now, hay is actually the cheaper of the two, so we will put that in. 
if we leave bales of straw and um, hay outside in the weather, uh, then they get damaged. They get spoiled and they go off. They will rot away. So um, you lose uh, content for your bales. Um, if you leave grass baled up, after two days the bales will completely disappear to simulate rotting away unless you go and wrap them into silage. Um, hay can only be made in the summer and the autumn when you can actually cut the stuff. Uh, my load of work at the moment is just really shoddy. Um, it could do with a, a bit of improvement here. You do have to keep the straw and the hay under cover. If, it get, it's, if they get rained on, they get damaged um, and you can end up losing your crop. The silage bales, they can stay outside though. Um, you've got to plant at the right time of year or you lose things. I mean, I, I've I hadn't read very much about the Seasons mod before I started this. I just thought oh, it just kind of added a bit of decoration to it and there was a, a few things to it. I did not realise the depth and complexity that this mod adds to the game. It is absolutely, absolutely fantastic. It's amazing the kind of stuff that it is adding into the game. It's, um, it, it, it's just phenomenal. It's brilliant. Right, I'm going to feed into this trough out here. And hopefully this is going to be enough to keep the cows going. We'll have to cut them some grass a bit later on when we've got some that we can cut. But we can't cut any yet. That is not available to us. So we've got 16,000 litres here. I don't know how much it's going to let us use. Um, let's just press escape a minute. Yes, it seems to do about half on the power food compared to what it's putting in for silage and hay. But overall, another such a load, I think we will be doing well yes yeah, so we've got 10,000 in there and 6,000 in there so we have used the full 16,000 litres so if I do another such a load that will at least keep them going for a little while but I think that it's only three days worth that it does so I want one straw one silage and two more bales of hay in here um, and the rest I'll put in the shed I think for now and then we can worry about them later on so if I move all of these we can get on with the next bit I want to start preparing some ground ready for planting we can't plant yet though um, if you take a look at I need to go into this menu here oh I haven't actually changed the days yet right snow I've had people asking about snow you've got one layer only which is a map that's not prepared for seasons and I don't think this map is actually prepared for seasons I don't think it's been updated for it um, this will put snow on the ground, but it won't leave snow tracks and stuff. If you put snow on, it will put snow down, but I think you can have some issues with things like roads and that, where you can't clear the snow off the roads. So we might have problems if we have the snow mode on, right? Um, and then you can just have it switched off. So at the moment, I'm going to go for snow mode one layer. Um, and when we get to winter... Uh, or in autumn at least we can sort of have a little another little chat about it because it's not we're not going to get there for a little while yet but we said 12 days so we're going to go for 12 days at the moment we've got uh, crop moisture um seasons introductions yes so we've got all of the rest of it done so if we go apply settings yes hang on what did it say there um if you want to change the season changes to season length can result in fields that will only repair after one game year Right, so we don't want so no, um, we don't want to change the settings again. I'm just going to have to fast forward. Is essentially what it's telling us. Um, otherwise, it could mess us around a little bit. That's still we can ignore the numbers on there. We're on 12 days now, um, so we've got to get our planting done as quickly as possible so that we're ready to harvest in the autumn that's going to be the next big thing that we do. But anyway, I am going to load this up and I'm going to unload all those bales. They've got to get undercover. I've only just realised it. This CSZ um, spike, and I suspect the other ones have as well. I just didn't kind of notice it at the time. Um, the camera is set to the actual spike on the front rather than the um, the JCB. So I'm following the spike all the time instead of following the cab of the machine. And I've got to say, now that I've sort of realised that it's doing it, it's definitely it's noticeable, and it's also helping me quite a bit. Ooh, well, it would if I could drive straight. I got those four bales of silage in there absolutely perfectly by doing that, by picking up all four together. Um, obviously not paying too much attention at the moment. Um, I think the main issue is that I was trying to show off. I was trying to say, look what I can do, because this is really amazing. And as soon as you do things like that, that's where it all goes pear-shaped, isn't it? 
So if we just get these, I'll just get those four bales off the trailer there and then we can get that food in. The next thing we're going to do is we've got to buy a plow. Um, when we can't start planting yet, the, the soil temperature is not right. You've got to wait for the soil temperature to heat up a bit. Um, but we can start preparing the ground ready for um, putting seed in. And then we can um, think about buying some, um, maybe buying some more land as well. I did it with those four bales. I've got all four of them in there. Look at that. And as so long as they're under cover, I think it's okay. It's only if it rains on them, though. So, obviously, during the summer, you're much less likely to get any issues with it. And, right, that'll do there. Let's go and put this one somewhere out of the way for now. Probably put it in one of these sheds, actually. What have we got in here? We've got a fertilizer spinner in there. I've got a shed here. So, if I stick this one in this shed here... Um, I think I'm going to use the doits for doing the ploughing. Um, there's a field right next to us that is going to be ploughed fairly soon. So I will run that one. I'll put that front weight there and I will run it up to the dealership so that we can buy a plough. I've got one in mind already. It's a small plough. be perfect for that tractor. Um, and then we can start ploughing. It's field 69, I think it is, the one that's right next to us. Um, and... We've also got some other fields. If you take a look at the map here, let me just come back through. Um, we've got two fields here next to the sheep. We've also got some fields here. This is the ones that we've got. We've got field 69 there. We've also got 77. Actually, it's 77, I think, that we're going to plow. Um, we've got 86 over here near the grain elevator. And we've got three fields here that we own around the pigs so that we um, we could do some plowing there as well. A couple of these are in grass. I think 35 and 69 are in grass. Um, which we will leave as grass. The rest of them we want to start ploughing. So what we might actually do is buy a couple more tractors and a couple of ploughs because what I'd like to be able to do is I'd like to be able to do lots of jobs all at once. Um, it will mean sort of buying the small machinery and a lot to start with, but I think it's going to ultimately be worth it. I think it's going to work out quite well having lots of tractors working lots of fields all at the same time. I think we'll also run the New Holland up there, and the New Holland can pick up a plow. So we got two plows straight away. Um, didn't I have another tractor here as well? And um, that might actually save us buying another tractor just yet. Although I did want to get at least one tractor. There's a lot of Zetas available at the moment, and there's one in particular that I would like to get that looks very similar to an old Zeta that I used to use. It was one of the first farm jobs that I ever had. And I'd quite like to get one of those Zetas running... Um, just so that we can say that we've got it. And um, also, because this is a Polish map, and I'm aware... Of, oh, actually, I've got it on dollars at the moment. I should have this on... Um, I know that it's... It, um, Poland doesn't have euros, and we should also put it on to kilometres, because Poland is metric, at least. Um, Poland doesn't have um, the euro. Poland has its own currency at the moment. However... Um, we can't get that one on this map. So I thought I'll use Euros because, as I understand it, steps are being taken to try to include Europe in uh, Poland into the European Union, which would mean a change of currency as well. I don't know if that's a certainty or not. Um, it's just something that I've heard about. So let's take the Zeta... Uh, not the Zeta. We'll take the the Fent here. The Fent? The Deutz. Not the Fent. It's not the Fent at all. Oop. Okay, I'm knocking our plants around. We'll take the Deutz and we'll take the New Holland and I'm sure we've got another tractor here somewhere. We've got that one there and we've got a combine in one of the sheds. There's some seed there. Did we have another tractor? I genuinely don't know. We open up the gate here. We've got the combine here. Don't think we've got another tractor. No, maybe not then. The only other place would be in this shed here. Do we have anything? Yes, we do. We have a little tiny Zeta. But that is a loader tractor. I don't know if I want to put a plow on that one. I'm not sure if he'd really cope with it very well. So let me get up to the dealership. There we go. We'll pull in here. We want to get a front weight for this new Holland. We also want to get the new the uh, Zeta tractor that we're going to take a look at. Let me just turn that one off and follow and move him over here a little bit. Um, so we're going to have three tractors and three plows. So we go into here. The first... Uh, first first thing I want to do, if I can actually talk properly, oops, I didn't mean to do that, uh, we want to come up through here and we can start looking at all of these different modded tractors. Now, 
uh, we have got lots and lots of different tractors available now. Some of these are from the mod contest. I don't know which ones are actually from the mod contest. I think that international is. I would like to get that one at some point. Um, 80 horsepower tractor. It does look very cool. And then we've got... I'm not going to use the Belarus just yet. We've got the universal there. Um, so people have said that that is quite a popular one in Poland. Um, we've got various different Zetas here of different sort of stages and appearances but it's this one right here the zeta crystal it's a 120 horsepower tractor um it's sixty five thousand dollars or euros i thought it would be a bit cheaper than that. there's the old battle tractor um we might be using that in rattlesnake valley you said quite clearly that you don't want to use it in Watair valley um we will go for standard i know that we have said that we would color everything on this one the john deere green um, but this one, I'm going to go for the standard Zeta color just because I want it to look like the one that I used to use. Um, wide tires, rear twins, standards. I think he actually... No, we, we want standards on this. This is... I'm making an exception with this. I know that I'm going for the John Deere green and the yellow um, for the rest of it, but I'm not going to for that one tractor there. I want that one to, to look a specific way because of... Um, memories basically because of memories so we've got the coon very master 153 there it's a two meter plow uh, that one requires 120 horsepower we've got this one here which requires 130 i got a feeling that our plows be able to tow it anyway um our tractors but we could get this one here this is only 1.9 meters this is one from the black sheep modding pack so i'd like to get two of these these are five furrow uh, reversible plows with 2.5 meters width which is really good Oh, it is. It's a mod contest one. So I'm going to get two of those. Oh, hang on a minute. Options. Loads of them. Right. Normal wheel, chevron tire. Well, we go for the normal wheel on here. Design we want used or new. Ooh. So, uh, oh, rust, rust. Ha <laughs> ha. That's brilliant. Okay. We're going to go for one used version first. So we universal moldboard, slatted moldboard. I don't think we need a slatted moldboard. Slatted moldboards do add to um, cultivation types, sir. Uh, universal or slatted okay so it's right we're gonna have to go for the universal skimmers um with animation yes uh you know what i think we're gonna use skimmers plate rolls what are plate rolls oh those are the uh, yeah i thought that is um you had skimmer or plate roll i didn't think you had both isn't that or is that the the uh, the rolling knife. Uh, the skimmer is like a miniature plow that goes in front of the main furrow to remove the um, stuff from the front of it. I don't know what the plate roll does though. Um, genuinely unsure about that one. So we're going to get that one on one that we don't have skimmers. And other, lack... Ooh, i got no idea what that means. Oh, I'm pretty sure that is an arm that goes onto the plow... Um, that hooks onto a cultivator that goes on the side. We're not going to use that one. So we'll buy that one at 15,500. That is the used version. Okay, now I want to get one that is rusty, which is going to be brilliant. And we won't have skimmers. Um, and we, we will put on the plate roll so that we can ha take a look at the difference. That is 16,900. The rust version is a bit more expensive than the used one. Um, yes, right back out of there and then for the zeta i think we'll go for this one here um just a single one i know that the game actually sends them going back um the other way um so that that instead of like going from one side of the field to the other like you would normally with a plow like that but i think it'll be all right all right Oop, bit laggy there let's take a look so we've got i'm assuming that that is the plate rolls as rusty or is this the rusty one this is just used. This is the used one. And those are the skimmers. Like I said, they are mini plows that go in front of the the main moldboard. So that that removes like the vegetation and stuff that's in front of it. So that you get a nice clean cut with that one there. Um, and they do work very well. I've seen those in action quite a lot and they work very well. This one here is basically a knife disc that cuts into the ground on the edge of that one. So it leaves a nice clean furrow at the end. Um, so that the tractor that can then run up the clean furrow for the next run. But in my experience, plows would normally have those in front of each of the mold boards. And you have that instead of these little skimmers here. Um, so yeah, you've got both of them. And then we've got the little Matty Ferguson one here um, with a 
Just a handle there, that's for putting the jack up and down, I'm assuming. We don't have any options on it, do we? No, we don't. Right. Okay, so that is plows. We want to get these two various wheels. Let's just take a look at this Zeta. This is the Zeta that I used to use. This is fantastic. I don't think it's actually those numbers, but it looks absolutely almost spot on to what I used to use. Let's have a look inside. Yes, great big wide wheel arch on the inside. I used to perch up on there while um, my boss used to drive this if we were going a long distance. Very cozy inside this cab, I might add, with two grown men sat inside it, but there we go. Um, so, yes, it's um, fantastic. Start it up. It sounds good. This thing is so stable. Um, I've seen... I, my boss used to drive this over the steepest ground you could imagine. And I would get really genuinely scared that it was going to tip over because he would drive it with me on the lower side. And that would make it even worse. I, mean, he, I would get even more scared because I was on the, the bottom side and if the tractor was going to roll, I'd be at the bottom. Um, so, yeah, no, that, was, that wasn't fun. That wasn't fun at all. I'm going to spread these tractors out to some different fields so that we can get started on ploughing. Okay, uh, I've only, literally, the dealership's right there, so the plough is sort of really close to where I want to go. That looks like, uh, that windmill there, it actually almost looks like a, um, a crazy golf, golf course, because it's quite small. Um, that's the field that I want to get to, right there, but I don't know how to get to it without driving over another field. Um, oh, hang on, no, there's a lane over here. This might be the way in. Um, it's field 31. I, I want to do this map without driving across other people's fields and things like that. I want to use the lanes that we're supposed to use in order to gain access to different things. And that isn't the way that I'm supposed to get in there. I've got to get into the pigs. Uh, that's got to be a long way around. You know what? I'm going to just cut up across the middle of the fields here. I've just said that I don't want to do this, and I'm doing it already. But, um, yeah, I'm, I'm sure you'll forgive me. So if we get this one into position here by this field, where can I go safely without driving on the neighbor's field? It's, you cannot drive on your neighbour's field. This is absolutely not the way to behave. That is their, um, just a garden to go with our pigs. And I've actually just ploughed a little bit of our garden there. I didn't mean to do that. Um, so where, how am I supposed to get in and out of the pigs? There's got to be a way to do it. Uh, it doesn't really matter right now. Um, let's drive up. Hang on, I'll start back here. I can clean up the little bit on the end in a, in a minute. Um, it looks like we should be able to just drive straight up and down here the only issue is i think the tractor is going to go into the pond if i'm not very careful so it might actually be better if i go this way um unfortunately when you use the hired help the tractor does just go back on itself um which isn't actually very realistic when using a plow like this because like i say you start on, you work on one side and then the other end of the field and you do it in sort of swaths instead of just doing um straight up and down um but we'll live with it right uh you know what, I'm just going to press H and let the hired help car... Oh, no, 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 we don't want the um, vehicle extension, do we? What's it going to do with the vehicle extension? It's running a new field detection. It's done that once already. How is it... Right, let's just... I'm going to watch this a minute and see how this works out. It didn't work out particularly great, and I've got the message that I don't own that field, which is going to be a bit of an issue on the edge there. So I'll switch it over to standard hired help, and hopefully he'll be able to carry on now. I never actually used this tractor or seen it being used for ploughing. We generally used it for, um, it was a livestock farm, so it was like mowing and stuff like that. Um, but I think he's going to do an excellent job. Now what's he doing? That is a long way to go to turn around. <laughs> You've got to love the hired help in this game. You really do. He reverses all the way back and then goes straight into a telegraph hole. That is absolutely brilliant. Um, I've still got two other tractors to get going. And we've got less... Uh, well, we've, only, we've got just over an hour, sorry. Um, until 6 o'clock. And I am going to stop them working at 6 because I don't want to pay overtime. I'm a stingy sort of person like that. So I've no intention of paying my workforce overtime. They can finish at 6 o'clock and then they can start bright and early again tomorrow morning. So I think that's how we will do it. So if we just let the hired help come down here and we'll see how it does it. It might get to the bit where it doesn't own the field and then decide it doesn't like that and go off and do something di something different. It has done in previous versions of the game. It's doing a very wide turning circle here. 
but this is brilliant i i genuinely love the fact that we've got this zeta tractor working in our field he is absolutely fantastic little tractor i'm very pleased with this one and i make no apologies for not changing the colors like i'm going to do on everything else i wanted this one to be the colors that i remember from it was one of the first jobs that i ever had and he had one of these tractors it's absolutely fantastic it's brilliant I am so pleased to be able to see this thing working. Is it going to go straight back into that post again? I'm going to just make sure that he does this turn okay. And then I'm going to um, get those other two tractors. Ooh. <laughs> it's... <laughs> okay, the hired help is so funny in this game sometimes. Um, yeah, I'll, I'll get the other two tractors in a minute. And we can get them started today. And then tomorrow they can carry on plowing the fields that they're working on. And then we're going to need to get cultivators out to these fields so that they can get cultivated as well and as soon as the ground goes up by a single degree to five degrees we will then be able to start actually planting right well we have almost run out of time and i realize that i forgot to ask you my weekly my new weekly question um it's going to be a simple one this week would you like me i'm going to be buying some more fields now i will buy a couple of more fields um close to some of the animals here just to make things a little bit easier but would you like me to focus on getting uh, several of these some more small tractors and working quite a few fields simultaneously around the center of the map here or would you prefer me to go for bigger fields and buy one or two bigger machines to start working some of these bigger fields so it's It'll probably be something, say, down here um, around this um, train station down here or maybe over in this corner. I'm not going to spread it out too far across the map as I don't want this one to be about transporting all over the map. I want this game to be about, um, like I said before, it's about large-scale management. We're going to work a lot of different things all at the same time. And I think the Seasons mod is going to help with that. It's going to sort of make it all more interesting. So we get several jobs working simultaneously. Um so yeah do you want me to sort of work on buying some big fields over in this corner with one or two big tractors but we'll also use multiple small tractors in the fields or do you want me to stick to the middle of the map for now and just buy quite a few of the small fields and work on those it's your vote it's your game head into the comment section down below let us know which one you want and why and of course don't forget to actually cast your vote in the top right hand corner now i am just going to let you see me driving out to this field because this one's the one that's sort of off by itself field 87 um we've got a whole load of forestry stuff here which looks fantastic i think we can have some fun in there forestry is a winter task do the forestry in the winter when you don't have other things to worry about um so we get this tractor out to the field out here um and we can just get started on plowing this one and then that will be it for today tomorrow we will carry on doing some plowing and um, hopefully we'll get most of the ploughing done and we can start getting some cultivators going in those fields as well. I don't know if we'll be buying any new tractors tomorrow. We've certainly got to buy at least another cultivator um, so that we can start using that. We have got so many objects and stuff in these fields. It, it, it's absolutely fantastic. So I'm going to need to go... Uh, alt, is it Alt? No, it's Control H. And turn the vehicle extension off on this one. I want the plough to just go on regular hired help. Um, unfold this one and we can see these skimmers in action as well and I, just in case you didn't realize I bought the barrel weight several people said they'd like me to use the barrel weight so I have the barrel weight and it is colored the John Deere green um, let's just back up a little bit and get to the edge of the field I'm hoping that this edge here will work quite nicely and we start there and I'm just literally going to press H and let the hired help do this one um, and so we should be able to see the skimmers working. The, the, I did um, select with animation. Um, I'm too far from the edge of the field. I'm going to have to come back in and do that again. Um, oh yeah, you can just see it. If you look at the front there, you can just see that skimmer working. He's, um, he's just pushing. And what that's doing is it's just pushing the, um, the crop residue that's there at the moment. It's pushing it to one side so that the main mould board of the plough gets a clear cut straight through and it gets a nice tidy side to the um to the plough line um how well that's going to ha sometimes it doesn't work very well and then sometimes it does which way is this tractor going to go should go around that side there shouldn't it i'm hoping it does 
Oh no, we have decided that we're going to do this little bit here. So we'll do this little bit. I think I'll finish this bit up. And by the time it does this little triangle here, it will be um, 6 o'clock. So I will stop all hired help and I will jump forward to tomorrow. And then in tomorrow's episode, we will be able to start afresh at... I'll probably wait until 7 o'clock because it does get quite dark here quite quickly. Um, oh, no, the, the night time lasts a while because it's still very early spring. And... And the Seasons mod has adjusted the day length as well. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this episode, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. But until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Rithgar. Goodbye and see you later.